Well, I got their old tractor going. Now their quote unquote reliable tractor won't start. That's weird. Working on a tractor, here's what comes to visit. Hey. What? Don't buy my ear, whatever you do. What do you see? Hmm? No. Got this little Kubota. It's a L3800, I think is what it is. Anyways, it's uh, nothing happens when you hit the key. Things come on, but last night I got it off the trailer. I was able to jump the starter with my power probe. And now I started pulling it apart and I thought maybe someone might find this interesting. So, got me a little rock star going there. And I'm gonna put on my hat mount and just work. All right, let's get the power probe hooked up so I don't have to jump off the steering wheel when I'm done. Come on. My hands aren't working today. There. What I've done so far is just pop the little shields off of here. They're right here. And popping the steering wheel off so I can pull this whole cover it's all unbolted but gotta yank the wheel for all right hey buddy see you dad you out of here yep Love you. be careful work hard all right I will see you later see ya So let's see if I unplug this. I couldn't find a wiring diagram, so I'm kind of shooting in the dark a little. That's okay. That's the fuel control solenoid there. So that's what shuts it on and off, turns it on and off there. So let's see. We have two major. No, that looks like could be a relay of sorts. No. Nothing. Nothing. Power ground. That's the starter relay. Okay. Let's pause for a quick second and talk about what I'm testing. First, I tested that there's power to the relay at pin 30 for the starter. Then I tested that at pin 87, that goes to the starter. I jumped power to it, and it controlled the starter. The parts I'll check in the next clip are... For the control side, which at pin 85, power comes in from the key switch. Last, we'll test for ground at pin 86 that will come from the clutch switch. So that's getting voltage, actually. And this should get a ground there. So let's try this here. That far one should get ground. Okay. We're 
going to put ground at the clutch switch here and see if that does anything and see if this clutch switch because I tested the switch before but that doesn't mean anything ah. Just in case I've already confused you, I'll explain this. On a relay, it's just a switch that's controlled electrically. Pin 85 is power from the key switch. Pin 86 is ground from the clutch switch, which we don't have. When those are good, it closes pin 87 and 30 like a switch. When the power from pin 30 is joined to 87, then it completes the circuit and the starter engages. Hope that makes sense. So, that goes from there up to here somewhere. Doggone ya. I love this stuff. Well, I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna, gonna play with something. Hey, I'm gonna Just for kicks and giggles here. That wire should have come to me from there. Cool, is it? Maybe we'll something like that, I think. With black. Let's just there. We have a nice one. Just something like that. This one's here. I'm already testing these fuses here. I don't need it. Let's see here. Okay. This is a pretty little handy deal. Retractable leads. They're 10 foot long. They'll reach most places you need to. We're going to jump from this pin right here on this plug if y'all can see that we're gonna jump that over we've already got that poked in so let's try this out move all the junk out the way this should theoretically work exactly the way the factory components work so let's see drink holder that's handy Okay, let's go, let's go. We're gonna go through what it takes to put a weather pack connector together. And I've got two two circuits that I need but I'm out of two circuit stuff, so I've got three circuit. So I'll just use two of them and then use one blank. No big deal. So first thing you got is you got these seals. You see that right there? The seals you put over the wire first. And I usually just shove them down over it like so. Then you strip a little piece of the wire here. And you got male and female here, so if you don't know how that works, this is not the video for you. They just fit together. The female goes into the female plug. So this one's the female with the opening. And then the male one goes into that plug. So we'll go through that in a second. So first part you do you strip that wire and you put the wire just into that end right there and then the insulated part stays out of that portion right there hopefully that makes sense I'll usually take it and just kind of fold it over just a little bit so that it will work then this tool right here this is a really cheap one that works really good You just find the one that fits it. Get it in there. Squoze and go. Let's see if that was small enough. Yep. There we go. There's that. Now you take the insulator and you slide it up into this piece here. 
I'll do the same thing. I'll kind of bend it around so it just shapes it around it a little bit. I know if I had the right tool, I wouldn't have to do that. So if you guys want to talk about that, that's fine. But do that, and then I'll usually go one size up and squoze that one in there. And you put it in there. Click. Done. There it is. Now you'll put the other wire on there. And then you just basically do the same corresponding. Once you're done, you close that down and it locks them in. Like that. Then you take it. Plug it together. Boom. Now you got a nice circuit. So that's it. I'm not going to bore you and do this over and over and over. But there you got go. the clutch switch wired up and I got the I'm gonna extend the wiring a bit plus this yellow wire is gonna have to run along the main harness to go through that to bypass that broken wire that we've got now just take these bad boys come on plug them together now let's see strip a little bit of the wiring off of here Got the clutch switch. I've, this yellow wire is going to need to bypass that one that's gone open for some reason. And then this one will hook to the current harness that goes to ground. And then this is the clutch switch here. So let's test our work. Need to make sure that when you plug it in, come on. There we go. I've got this lead hooked up here to the yellow wire and here we are to the black wire we got no continuity let's push the clutch switch look at there now once we wire around that we should be good and then this connector for the alternator will go ahead and replace that with a new connector All right, quick overview of what we did so starter relays right there this wire that I've added in this piece of harness runs down around here across the underneath the column down right there and then over to where we put this weather pack connector to the clutch switch right here one side of it goes to ground and that side was good the other side goes up to the starter relay and it was not good. Clutch is depressed. Key is in the ignition. Now let's double check. Ooh! I like that! Okay, we got it all ran, got it all together. Looks like everything works really well. I'm gonna use zip ties and we're gonna get that all buttoned up and tied up. Well, it's dark and cold, but I think I'm still going to run this one over there, back to them. work on it in the field partially because it was right in the hay pile with a bunch of poop all over it and doggone goats were so friend <coughs> so friendly they wouldn't leave me alone <clears throat> I just swallowed a bug well dadgum